first time I'm able to say this at a game. Team Canada. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamt about going to the Olympics. And now I'm getting my chance. And the best part is, you get to come along with me. Join me as I get to live out my dream job. What's going on, guys? We're in Riga, Latvia. The first time, all 25 members of Team Canada all together. I know it's a little loud in here, but it's practice number one. Uh, it's kind of a mini training camp. We have a couple exhibition games as well. I'm really interested to see some possible line combinations, what specifically they're going to work on. Remember, Willie Desjardins told us a couple weeks ago he wants to work on special teams. Um, players seem to be really excited to kind of get going. The selection process is now a thing of the past. Uh, and we're going to continue introducing you, as we have on the last few Rob's Dream Jobs, to the players. Seven more on today's docket. All right, let's start with Rob Klinkhammer, or the Colonel, as he's known by. And how did you get that nickname? Clink Hammer. Colonel Clink from Hogan's Heroes. Seems simple enough. He was undrafted, but he did play almost 200 games in the NHL for five different teams and was actually traded three times in his career. And he also played with Jonathan Taves, Sidney Crosby, Eric Carlson, and Connor McDavid at one point or another. Maxime Lapierre played 614 games for five teams in the NHL. He's a Calder Cup champion and was on that Habs team that went to the Eastern Final. But let's face it, he's a Hall of Fame agitator and opposing teams in Pyeongchang will probably find that out the hard way. Now, when Team Canada management began their selection process, Eric O'Dell wasn't even on their radar. And if you don't believe me, just ask GM Sean Burke. You know, when he came to camp and came to in the summer, uh, we didn't give him any chance of making the team uh, and only because we didn't know enough about him um, you know he's the type of player that's more of an energy player and you know i think when people see this guy play they're going to know why he is on the team okay we talked about Wojtek volski on episode three of rob's dream job but just in case you missed it october 2016 he broke his neck in two places while playing in the khl but two surgeries and just eight months later he was back on the ice it's incredible and he does have championship experience. He helped Metallurg win the Gagarin Cup in 2016. And speaking of Gagarin Cups, Chris Lee has won two of them. He also came close to playing in the NHL twice. In 09, he was called up to the Pittsburgh Penguins as an emergency because Mark Eaton was injured. Well, Lee took the warm-ups, but Eaton could play after all, and Lee was sent back to the AHL. Then he was invited to LA Kings training camp but didn't sign a two-way contract because he wanted to stay eligible for the Olympics. So he's one of two players on the team with no NHL experience. The other is Matt Robinson. He spent four years at the University of Alaska Anchorage. He was the team captain and a two-time winner of the Most Inspirational Player Award. He also spent the last five years in the KHL. And Maxim Nero played six games in the NHL with the Wild and has some championship experience. He won a Swiss League title in 2017 and also helped Canada win Spangler Cups in 2012, 2016, and 2017, where he served as a team captain. Check this out, you don't see this very often, the general manager, Sean Burke, on the ice. Okay guys, the rink is empty now. Canada beating Latvia, 2-0 uh, looked really good. Ben Scrivens looked incredible in this game. Probably gonna go a long way in uh, possibly being the starter for this team. But you know what? That's it for me from Latvia. You know that plane you see at the beginning of these videos? Yeah, I'm actually gonna be on it this time. Heading to Pyeongchang for the Olympic Games. See you there.